Hello, I am back with another Zrobot tutorial video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the Blender module. What this allows you to do is blend a video with effects processing with the original unaffected video. So it's probably easier for me to just show it rather than try and explain it. I've already connected this Blender module to my player, I've loaded these two videos in and I've also loaded up these two effects modules which are going to help me demonstrate how this works. So we can see we've got this video here which is just on a loop and I'm going to put on this diggy effect. I'll cover this in another video so don't worry about what this is doing for now it's just to demonstrate how the blender module works. But we can see what that's doing to the video. This is it without it, this is it with it. So what I can do with this, I can use, if I turn this on, I can use this dial here to blend that effect in. So we can see here it's fully affected and here it's just the unaffected original video source. Now this works pretty much in the same way as this transparency setting. So you can see if I turn the transparency of the effect up, we're getting the same kind of thing. So I believe what this dial is essentially doing is turning up the transparency of all of the effects that are on that video. So in this case you might wonder well why don't you just use this effects control, we don't need a whole module for it. Well because if I put another effect on as well, so I put this crunch effect on, I can control the transparency of all of them at once rather than having to change this and change this. I can do it with this single dial and I can have 20 different effects, well, as many effects as I want. For example I could have 20 different effects here and this will control all of them. So it's quite nice if you want to fade between a video unaffected and a video with effects you can use this and if you don't want to fade it in this way you can use this S button which will instantly jump from this end of the dial to this end of the dial with a single click like so. So you could hit this button to instantly turn the effects on or off. Here we have got a drop down of different transitions and that will affect how it's transitioning between the original source video and the video with the effects on. So at the moment we've got fade, so that's just doing a straightforward fade, but if I change this to wipe, we get a wipe effect when we turn this dial up. And we can get a wipe on the Y axis, we've got a scale wipe and we've got all these different kinds of transitions we can have. We've also got sound reactivity on this so if I put this on high and I play some audio you can see we're getting that transition controlled by in this case the higher frequencies and I can change the transition between that so you can get some effects going. And then I can use this S button to switch between whichever the uh, sort of main one is, whether it's the unaffected original source video or the one with the effects on it. Okay, let's stop that and turn that off. Turn this back to fade. What you can also do, so that now I am, we can see I've got this A selected, so this is just changing the video that's on deck A, but if I go to deck B, I can also blend in an unaffected video from deck B, which I couldn't normally do, because if I turn this blender module off and I fade between the two videos, I'm just going to get the video with all the effects processing on it. But if I have the Blender module on, I can now fade in that second video in deck B 
without any effects on it and have it blended with video deck A with effects. So it just gives you some more options, a bit more flexibility. And under here we've got our normal blend modes just to add another layer. So if you don't want to blend it with simple transparency, you can blend it with one of these blend modes instead. So I'll turn that off. And if, for example, I wanted to do the opposite and I wanted to blend in an unaffected video on deck A with the affected video on deck B, what I would do is switch my main fader on my player to deck B, change this to deck A, and now I'm fading in deck A with no effects. And when I bring it down, I'm getting deck B with effects. We've also got these keying options. So what these allow you to do is key in the video with the effects. So if I turn this, I need to turn this all the way up first. So let's just put that back to no keying. So I need to be seeing the original unaffected video. So I need to turn this all the way up. And then we'll notice if I put these keying modes on, we can see the video with the effects being keyed in. And then I can use this correction dial to increase the sensitivity or decrease the sensitivity of it. And you're going to get different effects depending on which key and mode you choose. And there's also this texture button down here, T. If I put that on, it's going to completely change the way the effect behaves. It's going to kind of add a texture map on top of it. So this just gives you yet another option of different effects that you can experiment with. One thing to be aware of with the Blender module is that it only works for effects that it's on top of in our signal chain. So here, this is where you can see the order of the effects, how they're running in your signal chain. And I've got Blender on top of the Crunch and Diggy effect. So when I fade in the original video source, it's fading out both of those effects. But if, for example, I were to put the Crunch effect on top of the Blender module, it's not impacting that because that Crunch effect is on top of the Blender effect. So whatever you want, to be able to blend in and out is going to have to be underneath the Blender module in your signal chain. So that's the Blender module. If you found this tutorial useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep an eye on future Zobot tutorials coming soon.